Two astronauts who've been stuck in space since June will have to wait even longer to get home. This morning, NASA once again pushed back the return date until the end of March at the very earliest. Joining me now is the chief astronomer from the Franklin Institute, Derek Pitts. Derek, uh, this is such a, I feel, uh, you know, for these astronauts who were only there for like a week-long mission, and now uh, it's likely they're not getting back until the spring. Why is it taking so long? Good morning, Vlad. The reason why it's taking so long is because NASA has decided to add another SpaceX Dragon capsule to its available fleet of capsules for astronauts headed up to space station or coming back. And so that delay from February until late March then delays the return of uh, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams uh, back to Earth to no earlier than late March, more likely early April. Wow. Um, so, so I mean, clearly, uh, these uh, space stations are meant for long-term stays. My guess is that the astronauts have everything that they need, and, of course, they train for situations just like this. Yes, they certainly do. And, you know, the other thing we have to remember is that, like you said, Vlad, all the supplies they need are there. There's no problem with uh, with any of the resources or anything like that. But they were only supposed to really be at space station for 10 days, so they've had that extended to what's going to be around nine months. And uh, rather than thinking of them as stranded, they get to be, in a sense, on an extended adventure. And uh, since they were not slated to be in space for this long, they're actually having a wonderful time because this could be a long, it could be a long time before their next trip to space. And they weren't expecting to stay this long. So I think they're having a good time. And so remind our viewers uh, how this all began. You mentioned that they were only there, uh, supposed to be there for a week. Uh, what happened? What happened was there was a test flight of a Boeing Starliner liner capsule that's meant to be integrated into the SLS launch system and into the Artemis missions out to the moon. But uh, when, the space, when the Starliner got to International Space Station, there were some problems with reaction control thrusters on board the craft, and they were worried that trying to re-enter with astronauts on board with reaction control system thrusters that weren't working properly, that could cause some problems. There could be some risk. And NASA decided that the risk was far too high to jeopardize the lives of astronauts. So instead, they figured, let's leave the astronauts on board space station. We'll bring them back on board a tested uh, Falcon Dragon, Crew Dragon spacecraft, and we'll just bring the Starliner back empty. Then we can go back and we can test all those thrusters and make sure those systems are working properly for future missions. Wow. Uh, all right, Derek Pitts, always great to have you in situations like this to discuss, uh, my friend. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot.